Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Monday Meditation. I'm your host, Bonnie Randall. Thank you so much for joining our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe, like, comment, tell me what other meditations you would like to see from us. Today's meditation, I have been excited about doing for a long time. I wrote this one. I, well, I write all of mine, but this one I wrote in particular for people um, who might be like me or my daughter or some of the other people who have requested that we do an armor of God meditation. Um, my daughter and I are both empaths and she has sensory struggles that make it hard for her to hear loud noises and experience the world around her. She really takes on the anxiety and the stress of the world and so I wanted to write a meditation for her and for everyone else out there who can relate to that. Um, people who might have a hard time guarding themselves, but they don't want to shut down. They don't want to shut themselves off to everything. They still want to remain open. The armor of God is the way to do that. So it helps us not take on other people's stress, their anxiety, their drama, their negativity, but it helps us still feel the spirit and feel for other people. And one way to say that is it helps us to be in the world, but not of the world. It will help protect us from the enemy and all his minions and help give us strength and courage that we need to stand up to him. And for a lot of people, just strength and courage to get up in the morning to not have to worry about the sounds and the sensations and the commotion all around them or, or to worry about the commotion of their own thoughts, their own feelings, their own negativity. The armor of God helps protect us against all of that. So I pray today that this meditation will help you experience God's light and his protection in a very real and powerful way. But as you imagine putting on the armor of God, you will imagine him and his strength with you. So as we begin, I invite you to get into a comfortable position. And if it feels good, close your eyes and put your hand over your heart. Your heart is your connection to God. While you take some deep breaths in and out of your nose, tell your mind and your body it is safe to slow down and to relax. Continue to take deep cleansing and healing breaths and imagine going to a safe place. It can be a meadow, a mountain, a temple, a cathedral, anywhere that feels safe and peaceful for you. It is a place that your Heavenly Father has created with you. Together you designed this place, a place of safety and refuge from the storms of life. Take a moment to notice what it looks like. What do you see? Are there trees? Are there decorations? Is it big? Is it small? What does it sound like? Can you hear wind? The rustling of trees? Maybe a babbling brook? Or is it silent, peaceful, and still? What does it smell like? Can you smell flowers or incense? Can you smell the Savior? What does it feel like? Is it warm? Is it breezy? Is there grass that is soft or stone that is strong and firm underneath? Now, as you look around, I invite you to see that there's a new rock feature. You walk over to it and realize that it is a stone chest. 
It is large and it is beautiful. What does it look like to you? Now notice that there is a scripture inscribed on the lid. It is from Ephesians chapter 6 and reads, Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all, to stand. As you read that last word, you know instantly that if you open the lid of this chest, your own personal customized armor of God will be inside. So with courage and faith, I invite you now to lift the lid and reveal your beautiful, unique set of armor. What does it look like? Is it shiny? Are there any special markings on the pieces? Is it new? Or is it dusty? Are there any pieces in need of repair? Any cracks or dents? If so, I invite you to offer a prayer of repentance for the neglect of your armor. I now invite you to feel Jesus' atonement, telling you what you need to do and hear to come back into alignment with him. Once you have committed to do these things, notice that the armor changes. It becomes clean, shiny, and new again. How do you feel at this gift? Now, as you pick up each one, imagine putting them on. First, you pick up a belt, and as you hold it in your hands, you feel its strength and instantly know it is the belt of truth. What does yours look like? Is it leather or metal? Is it shiny or does it need polishing? Next, wrap it around your waist and notice that your eyes are instantly opened and you recognize each piece of armor. For this is the belt of truth. As you tighten the belt, you feel prepared to take action. You feel prepared to learn more about God's truth through study and prayer. You feel prepared to feel God's love and his truth in your life. You are ready to speak truth and to do truth. And you are ready to battle the enemy and his forces. Next, see the breastplate of righteousness. You pick it up and examine it. What does yours look like? Is it adorned with jewels? Is it inlaid with designs? Or is it simple and sleek? As you put it on, remember that this vital piece of armor protects your organs, such as your heart, lungs, and gut. Each has spiritual significance. Your heart is your connection to God. It is where you feel the Holy Spirit. Your lungs give you the God's breath of life. As you breathe, you are literally testifying of Yahweh our eternal and glorious Father who has given you everything dear and good in your life. 
Your gut is your second brain. It controls your body and your emotions. This protection can help you choose the right, choose God and protect our core beliefs. It will protect our hearts from being hardened and corrupted from the sins of the world. Next, find your boots. And as you put them on, hear the words, your feet are now shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. With this admonition, I invite you now to pledge to be a peacemaker, a servant of the Almighty. Your feet represent your goals in life. Think now of your goals at this time. How can they serve your Father in heaven? Take in a deep breath and pledge your loyalty to him and feel his acceptance of you. Next, put on your glorious helmet. What does yours look like? Does it have any markings or decorations? Does it have a plume or is it simple and humble but just as strong? This is your helmet of salvation. As you wear it, it will help you focus your mind on Jesus Christ and the salvation he offers all men. The helmet will protect your thoughts, protect your ears from hearing evil, protect your eyes from viewing evil, protect your mouth from speaking evil, and will keep your eyes single to the glory of God. It will help guide your decisions as it is a protection for your mind as well. Next, I invite you to grab your shield of faith and notice what that looks like. Is it large or is it small? Is it adorned with any markings? How does it feel on your arm? With this shield, you remember that you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. The shield is the most versatile and effective means of defense, and it can be used as a weapon if it is made of strong materials. Like too, your faith is built up by Christ and his gospel. It will also defend you against the enemy and his minions if it is made from the right materials. These materials can include faith, love, reverence, courage, chastity, repentance, forgiveness, compassion, charity. What other traits do you want your shield to be made of? Breathe in those traits and imagine them being infused into your shield. Lastly, you see the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. The sword is a weapon. It is used in both offense and defense. This sword will help you feel the Spirit, and it will help you use the Spirit to carry out your mission on earth, and it will help you speak the Word of God to others, helping them feel the Spirit and come closer to their Father in Heaven. Think now for a moment about your own testimony. What do you have a testimony in? Are there any questions you might have for God to help strengthen your testimony? Now that you are fully dressed in the armor of God, you are prepared to end this meditation with a prayer that you might always come off conquer and conquer Satan, that you may escape the hands of the servants of Satan that do uphold his work. You are now prepared to do your work and glorify God this week. I now invite you to take a few more deep breaths and take time to pray and journal about your experience this morning. If there were any parts that 
you feel you need to revisit, now is a good time to do that. I love you all, and I'm so grateful that you joined me today for this powerful meditation. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and shoot me over a comment and share it so that others might also feel the power of the armor of God. And like always, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. It really helps us grow the channel and helps us spread the good word. And like always, if you're a woman, please feel free to join our free support group on Facebook. The link is down below. We would love to meet you and have you join our community. Until next time, everybody. God bless.